Hidden beneath the seas off Norfolk for more than 340 years, a royal warship whose sinking could have changed British history. In the shipwreck below, one of the cannons of HMS Gloucester is being measured. Her discovery has been hailed as the most important maritime find since the Mary Rose. In 1682, the Gloucester set sail from Portsmouth. The Duke of York, the heir to the throne, joined it at Margate, heading for Edinburgh to pick up his heavily pregnant wife. But 30 miles off Great Yarmouth, amid a row over the route to take, the ship ran aground on sandbanks. Diarist Samuel Pepys watched from another ship. He described how men were plucked half dead from the water. The future king only just survived to become King James II of England. The ship was lost, claiming 250 lives. And still got the glaze. That's, that's brand new, isn't it? Incredible. 300 plus four, well, 340 years old, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Brothers Julian and Lincoln Barnwell yeah. discovered the treasure trove in 2007 after spending four years searching for the Gloucester. But the wreck, which lies in international waters, has been kept secret since to protect the sensitive site. I just felt an honour and it was just so unbelievably exciting to be that first person to touch that wreck again from you know, the day she sank. And of course he comes out, we've found her! So uh, yeah, I gave him a rude gesture, but then he walked up, pumped up, hand out, we've got her. The ship's bell was raised to the surface in 2012. A pair of glasses from the Gloucester were also found, along with a wine bottle seal which shows the coat of arms of the Legg family, ancestors of George Washington. Historians pondered the implications if the Duke of York had died that day. The heir to the throne, newly secure in his position, could have drowned, uh, could have been lost, and we'd have had a completely different British history if that had have happened. For the brothers whose passion led to this dramatic discovery, a feeling of a job well done, as the secrets on this seabed emerge nearly four centuries on. Neil Connery, News at 10.